Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to make the Lotus M200 automobile. The Lotus M200 automobile is based off a real car in real life. It's a British sports car that was released around the, around the 90s. It has the resemblance of a Lotus Elan SE special edition, otherwise known as a Lotus M100. After doing some research, there are actually lots of different types of Lotus Elan, but this one is the one that we're going to be focusing on. The reason I say the M100 or the Elan SE is because it resembles that. Only difference is it has a different kind of windscreen and a bar at the back. But I'm going to be basing its design off its appearance on Lotus 3 The Ultimate Challenge. Here's a screenshot of it from the intro. And here's a screenshot of what it looks like in game. So this is the car we're going to focus on making today. Now, as per usual, you'll need to you'll need to know what kind of bricks you'll want, and here's what you'll need. Pause the video so you can keep track of everything here. And now we can begin. Firstly, we're going to need a 4x7 chassis to start. We will add the wheels last. So we're going to focus on the door area first. So you want two 1x3 top plates and you want to put them on the ends as so. And a steering wheel for the middle. We're going to now we're going to focus on making the front part. Now we're going to focus on making the front part of the car. We'll come back to the doors later. Put that to one side. First, you're going to need a one by four red plate, and then you're going to need a one by two in black and two one by ones in red. Now we're going to need two 2x2 two two corner pieces in red. These corner pieces will allow these corner pieces will let it attach to the model. Just in case you can't tell, the black bit here is supposed to represent the air intake on the front bumper, just like on the actual car. Now we're going to need to put down a 1x2 red, pl red plate right here before putting on the mud guard, which comes next. So for this part here, we're going to need to we're going to need a total of four 1x1 red cheese wedges. And for the last part, we're going to need to fill up that gap by using a 2x2 two two red tile. The front part's nearly done. Now we just need to add the doors to finish off the front. And for that, we're going to need these 1x3 doors. They have letter markings so you can tell where they go. Like this one says R, which goes on the right. And this one says L, which goes on the left. Now you want to put them together with a 4x4 four four window wedge. And you stick it right here. Now for the back part. First, we're going to need two 2x2 two two corner pieces in black. So next, we're going to need 
a one by two red plate, a one by one plate in dark black grey, and a one by one plate in red. These may sound a bit unusual, but it will come, but it will make more sense later. So you want to put the red one on this one to make sure that's sticking up on this side. And then you want to put these on on the back like so. Now we want to attach these together with a one by four put plate. The reason there's, a, there's an odd grey piece there is to imitate the exhaust pipe as seen on the car. I will come to I'll come to why there's a black bit under here later. So next up, you're going to need a one by two grey plate and two one by one transparent red bricks, and you want to put them on as so. Then you want to cover all that up with a one by four red plate. And then you want to finish it off with a one by four red tile. This is to imitate the rear wing. Now you want to stick it in like this. Now the next thing we're going to need is to build the, is to build the rear fender. And we want to do that with a two by two red plate and a two by four red mud guard. I still don't understand why Lego actually made two variants of this, one with the hole and one without, but either way, they're both the same. So you want to stick this on like this, and then you want to put it down like so. Now to cover it up, we're going to need a two by two tile. Now the last part we're going to focus on is the bar at the back. which is this part. For that, we're going to need two one by two curved pieces with a, with a gap on top. And we want to put those together with a one by two tile. And then you want to stick that here. And then lastly, you're going to need two one by one red cheese wedges to put to fill up these remaining studs. And then next up, we want to put on the wheels. But we're not finished yet. There's still a couple of accessories. That's where the last piece is coming. You're going to need two one by one clear bricks and two one by one tile bricks. In case you're wondering what these accessories are for, they're actually to imitate the light popping out of the hood. To do that, you want to remove these two cheese wedges you put on earlier, then put these on. They will imitate the headlights, the headlights popping out of the hood. So there you go, that's how you make it. But it's not over yet, I want to show you a couple of extras. So as you know, on the on the actual pictures I showed you, the main car I showed you on here is green, even though we made the red one. Which is why I made this earlier, a blue, a green version of it. Now you may notice this one's actually got something different. That's because I made a custom sticker on a regular one by four brick. On this one, if you looked at the instructions earlier, we use a stack of plate pieces to imitate the, the, the tail lights. But on my version, I used a custom sticker I made on my computer.
So it looks just like the one on the game. So both cars look just like this on the game. Just a heads up to you, the green mud guards on this car have only existed in one Lego set when you build a small green car. I'll leave description I'll leave a description to tell you what set you can get them from. And lastly, for one more app for one more bonus, I'm gonna show you how you can make these into a Lotus M100. This is what the M100 looks like to recap. Only difference is it doesn't have that bar on the back. So to make the M100, all you have to do is remove the rear bar, take off the cheese wedges, and you make yourself a Lotus M100 or an Elan SE. One unique thing I like about this build is that you can actually use these as an alternative accessory to make it look like the lights are popping out your car. I remember doing anim an animation like that on YouTube quite a few years ago and I'll probably attach a video to this so you can have a look. So anyway, that's how you make your own Lego Lotus M200 automobile and a Lotus M100 aka Elan SE. Bye!